Today guys, I'm going to talk about batch job and macros. So batch job is where you can export a bunch of photos at the same time and the macros is like a preset that you can put on those ba on that batch job. So the first thing you want to do is go to file, open, find your photos, open one of the photos. So here's my photo here. And then I want to go to view, go to studio, macro, and it opens this little panel here which is macro. And what you want to do is hit, you want to record what you want to put on this photo and then you save it and then you uh, put the uh, like preset onto your, all those photos that you want exported. So then I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to go to a new adjustment layer, go to brightness and contrast, put the contrast to around here, 25, brighten it up just a little bit. And then I'm going to change the color, HSL, yellow, and just darken these greens a little bit. Okay, so I got my HSL brightness and contrast on the photo here. So it shows all the things that I've done in this corner here. Then you hit stop, you go to add to library and you call it whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it LUT1. So here are a couple of the macros that are already on it and a couple that I made. So here's LUT1 that I made. Next thing you want to do is go to File, go to New Batch Job, go to Add, find the photos that you want. So there's the photos that I want to get done. Okay, here they are right here. I'm gonna put it into this photo, this folder to get exported to. Change it so it's just JPEG and done. And then right here it says available macros. You scroll down until you find the macro that you want that you made. Hit it, hit apply, and then hit OK. And then right now it's saving all the photos. And that they're done. Now you go to them, batch here, and you can see that all the photos that I did are all exported with that little preset that I put on. So this is gonna help with, since I do rodeo photography, I can get a bunch of my photos that I like, put them in the batch job, put up my little macro preset on it, and then I can get a bunch of photos done instead of doing one photo at a time. Hopefully this helps you guys, and we'll catch you on the next video.